national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Ashiwa Jubola Tinumbu, has described the national publicity secretary of Yoruba Social Political Group, Aferi Ferry Yinka Odumaki, as a committed fighter for democracy. Odumaki died at the COVID-19 isolation center of the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital on Saturday due to complications from COVID-19. Hmm. Tinumbu and the deceased were Alice in the days of the National Democratic Coalition ADECO that fought General Sani Abacha's regime after the annulment of the June 12, 1993 election. The latter played a significant role in Tinumbu's emergence as the governorship candidate of the Alliance for Democracy for the 2007 election. The latter fell out with Udumaki becoming a vocal critic of the APC national leader. Tinumbu, in a condolence letter, he signed on Saturday, said although he differed with the deceased politically, he respects what he stood for. He condoled with Odumaki's widow, describing the two of them as iconic soulmates in the ceaseless battle for a better and greater Nigeria. Like millions of Nigerians, I received with profound shock the news of the death early this morning of Mr. Yenka Odumaki, spokesman of Afeni Ferry, committed fighter for democracy, dedicated civil society activist, a courageous and outspoken defender of whatever ideas and principles he believed in and a patriotic citizen in every sense of the word. Ever since his student days, Odumaki had been fearless and unrelenting in speaking up in promoting the cause of justice and what he perceived as the best interest of the citizens of Nigeria. He participated actively at the forefront in the various students and youth struggles against successive military dictatorships in the 1980s and 1990s. In the process, he was arrested, harassed and even detained several times, yet he never allowed himself to succumb to tyranny or be pressured into submissive and planned silence. In the struggle against the annulment of the June 12, 1993 presidential election and the perpetuation of military dictatorship, Odumaki was never found wanting. He was at the vanguard of the battle, even at the risk of his life and liberty. It is impossible to credibly tell the story of the emergence of the democracy we enjoy in this dispensation today without emblazoning Odumaki's name in gold. He was a dirty fighter for freedom and the law and the rule of law he was rock he was rock solid in his commitment to afeni ferry the yoruba people and several other civil society groups in which he played active roles odumaki never had public office but he has been a constant feature and part of our public consciousness over the last two decades of his unbroken democratic dispensation he epitomized the true definition of the citizen, a patriot who was never conscious of the fact that his life could not be complete or his humanity meaningful if he did not take an active interest in and join like-minded fellow citizens in seeking always to promote the common good of his community and country. In the course of the last two and half decades, Udumaki and I had cause to collaborate in various organizations and in pursuant in different political causes at different times. And I can testify to this, to his capacity for hard work, his brilliance, his tenacity in his loyalty to his cherished principles. Even if we differed politically, I had no cause to doubt his sincerity in charting his chosen path, he will forever remain a model of what a citizen who places his country's good above his interests could be. Given his talents and abilities, Udumake could easily have opted to focus on his welfare and that of his family rather than embroil himself in the several struggle he dedicated his life to. Hmm. <laughs> so, Tinubu is saying all of this you, you, two of you differed politically, but you know that what he stood for was the best in the interest. See, everybody knows the truth. 
everybody knows the truth. He, this man, you know, had been in the struggle for more than two decades and he was constant with what he's doing. That is to, to tell you that if really he differed from Tinubu, that means there was something he, he saw in you that he believed that where you people started, you started very well. But at some point, you began to de deviate. I think that was why you, you are saying, you know, he, he, he tried to, you guys fell out. But you are confirming that what you what he stood for, for him to be, you know, to differ from you, what he stood for was the right thing. And you know it. You know it. He never had any public office. But when there's no way you would talk about it. Even Junubu, uh, Buhari said, was even talking about that the man was a spokesperson. This and this and this and that. You see, well, that's the one thing people don't really get. Of course, there are some people that can just say, oh, they, want, they don't want to do this, they don't want to do this because of their selfish interests. When you are aligning with somebody because i can't say when you are following somebody when you are aligning with somebody and you know that the person is on on the good record is on a good track believe you me and for somebody who is really sincere once you know that the person is deviating for you you know that you have your integrity and you don't want to go in that line god said demand naturally you have to give way but some people just believe that because you are supporting this person, whether the person does right thing or not, you just you must continue to be supporting. No, that is not how life is. You must continue in that your support. Ah uh ah, -uh. and that is what a lot of people don't even want to get. They say ah, you want to buy the finger that uh, the the finger that you want to buy the finger that fed you. You want to do this and this and that. You you must continue to be supporting the person, or you want to be loyal to the person as the case may be. That is not how life is. You can't continue doing wrong thing, and you expect those who are well mannered to continue with you in that line they will tell you if you cannot change maybe they must have told you they must have advised you in the secret but if you don't want to do this they, you know the best thing is just for them to just give way because you cannot be robbing them with all manner of things they them all of them will be con will, will, will be confessing it's a lesson for all of them if they really want to learn but one thing about uh, most people especially the nigerian politicians they will not want to learn they believe that after five ten minutes or one hour that day everything everybody just go back again if another thing happens again they begin to react they are not proactive and that's why we have found ourselves where we are at this junction you know may the soul of the departed rest in perfect peace and may god continue to console the family he left behind honestly when i heard it and i was shaked i was touched you know to my bone marrow I, I felt it honestly i really felt it because the man was always always oh my god it is what it is oh but god should grant the, the 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 loved ones especially the wife the heart to be able to bear this it is not an easy thing honestly it is not an easy thing this man the way everybody's talking about this man is not as if you know normally when some people die people begin to talk even when it is when they know that they, obviously the person has not done right thing they just okay let's just even say something but in this case you know that people who are caught talking they are talking genuinely genuinely and it is it is this is no matter of uh, trying to trying to uh, paint paint it to be good well, I think Mr. Tinubu has a lesson to learn from his occurrence. From this occurrence, life on earth is short and a test. Amend your ways before it is too late. We we all be remembered for either the problem you solved or the one you created. You have course you have caused a lot of problems in Nigeria. It is time to make an amendment. That is what someone is uh, advising him to do because there is so much blood in you people hand. That is why Odumaki didn't uh, don't want to be part of your kabas. We Odudua, we Odudua are praying to God for all of Una downfall. <laughs> well, why you sold the Yorubas to the Fulanis at a very cheap price, all because you want to be president is more honorable than you. Some people say Ifa is above all. If you understand what Ifa is you will also agree the consciousness of man is based on based upon the foundation principles laid by the creator of, of all things baba i read the very last article uh, now that the late odumakin wrote about you just yesterday and and today is no more well this is necessary and for all happy this one said the very last article the now late odumakin wrote about you just yesterday and today is no more <laughs> what article is that well hope they don't send people to that place to eliminate him 
truth is like pregnancy sooner or later it will be revealed fear god please <clears throat> rather happy 80th birthday so guys let's hear your opinion on what uh, tinubu has said he has said a lot of things concerning the late uh, uduma king